Hello, welcome to Modern Analytics Academy Vignette Session. My name is Prasant. I am one of the Cloud Solution Architect at Microsoft Global Partner Solutions. In case you are not familiar with Modern Analytics Academy, I would highly recommend checking aka.ms slash MAA. The purpose we do this vignette session to talk about new features and how to use them or based on frequently asked questions from our customer or updates to a previous session. In today's session, we're gonna be talking about how to use Azure Key Vault in Synapse Pipeline and Notebook. Modern Analytics Academy session breaks down to these five different pillars, but today's session, a little bit touching upon two areas, pipeline and security. Let's talk about overview and use cases. What is Azure Key Vault? It helps with managing all kinds of different secrets. For example, tokens, passwords, certificates, or API keys. Your application can securely access the secrets based on the requirement. This also helps with reducing overall security risk because access to a key vault requires proper authentication and authorization before somebody can get access to the secret. Let's talk about Synapse security built-in features. Synapse offers various different authentication methods, for example, Azure AD or Manage Identity. For example, Synapse lets you connect to Azure Data Lake Storage using Manage Identity, so you don't need to manage your credentials. But as we all know, there is no one size fits all. So these security features such as Azure AD or Manage Identity may not work for all of your use cases. So let's discuss few use cases, why you should think about integrating Key Vault with Synapse Pipeline or Notebook. Let's say you are developing data ingestion or processing pipeline, wherein you need to connect to various external data sources and the way you connect to data sources using some sort of secrets, for example, tokens or passwords. And it's not a best practice to store secrets in application code. That's where Azure Key Vault comes in. That integration helps with, you know, storing and managing your secrets. And you don't need to update your code based on the secret changes. And in general, it also helps with complying with overall your security posture and DevOps pipeline best practices. Let's talk about demo. In demo one, I'm going to talk about how to use Azure Key Vault part of your Synapse Dataflow pipeline. I want to explain the use case a little bit before we see it in action. I have set up a Synapse Dataflow pipeline which is copying the data from one data lake storage account to another storage account. This Synapse Dataflow pipeline accessing the data lake storage source using the storage account keys stored in Azure Key Vault. Let's see it in action. Here I have already logged into my Azure portal and I'm navigating to the uh, Azure Key Vault. This is my Azure Key Vault. On the left side, I'm just going to show you the access policy first. When you click on the access policy, it helps you setting up the permission for your keys, secret, or certificate. It also gives you option to set up the permission for multiple identities. It could be your application or user. Since I'm dealing with the secret, I have set up the required permission for my secrets. Once you are done with the permission setup, it allows Azure Synapse to talk to this Azure Key Vault. Let's look at the Azure Synapse Workspace Linked Services. What is Linked Services? This Linked Service, it's kind of a connection string allow you to connect to your data sources. Let's see how to set up the Linked Services. So since I have already set up the Linked Services, in this linked services, what I have done, 
based on our use case as we talked about like connecting you know this synapse to the data lake storage so i'm connecting to the data lake storage here so that's what i have put the data lake storage url and the authentication i'm using as a azure key vault so i'm supplying the azure key vault part of this link service so this synapse can talk to azure data lake storage using these keys so as you can see i have a multiple uh, versions of my secrets so you pick the rights whatever versions part of your azure key vault so once you are done with setting up your azure key vault and the link services you can use this link service part of your synapse data flow pipeline so now i now i am in the azure synapse data flow pipeline and let's see the pipeline setup so on the source as we talked earlier here i'm just connecting to the data lake storage using the storage account keys so let me show you the connection string so here is my source connection string and where i'm connecting to the data lake storage using the storage account keys let's run the pipeline so as you can see the pipeline is failed let's look at the error so you can see here like it's not able to get the exit secret so it's it's that's why it's not able to connect to the data lake storage so it's saying that operation get is not allowed because of the secret we supplied here it's a disabled secret so as i saw you earlier i have multiple secrets stored in my azure key vault uh, let me go back to the secrets and here i have multiple secrets one is disabled the other one is enabled so part of our pipeline uh, let's configure the right one let me go back to the connection string okay so here i'm editing the uh, secret version and i'm selecting the right secret version doing the test connection and just updating these settings so now let's run the pipeline again yeah so pipeline completed successfully since we supplied the right version of secret it's able to talk to the data lake storage and copy the file let me show you how it's copied the file so here is the uh, storage explorer and where i can show you the, this is my destination storage account and let me refresh yeah so we just got the uh, file copied from source to target data lake storage account using that synapse pipeline let's talk about demo two in this demo, we are going to talk about how to use Azure Key Vault part of your Synapse notebook. Let's discuss the use case before we see it in action. So here I have set up a sample Synapse notebook, which is reading the file from a data lake storage. The Synapse notebook is accessing the data lake storage using the storage account keys stored in Azure Key Vault. As we discussed in demo one, I have already set up the Azure Key Vault and Link services, so I'm not going to discuss that again, part of demo two. I'm going to use the same Azure Key Vault and Link services what I have created in demo one. Let's see it in action. So here I have already set up the, uh, you know, Synapse Notebook. And if you see here, I'm just using the PySpark simple code and one thing before we go through the code, I want to explain about a little bit on the Microsoft Spark utilities. So we have also supplied this documentation part of this slide. So feel free to check this out. So this package helps you working with uh, secrets. So that's what I have used part of this sample code here, you know. So I'm supplying the account name, container name, path, and the, uh, you know, 
the link service name what we created part of demo one so once we supply all the all of this information now we are using this uh, microsoft spark utility to work with the secrets part of this notebook so let's run this notebook environment so as you can see it's failing uh, let's look at the error so it's 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 uh, the notebook is not able to read the data from uh, storage data lake storage uh, since uh, it, it doesn't have the required authentication or required you know credential so though we set up uh, the part of here we have set up this as token but we haven't put it as a right configuration here so let's just do the right configuration and run the cell again so as you can see that the now the notebook is working fine and uh, it can read the file from data lake storage uh, without any issues so in this way you can use the notebook you know you can you can integrate this azure key vault with your notebook use cases so here we have also provided some reference documentation so feel free to check this out and with that we are done with the session thank you for watching